This is one of the Star Wars clone birds. Did you bring that with you? Did you find it? I found it. Want to know what I shot, Dad? Okay. A box of shells. That is the only hunting and shooting footage I got. Let me show you how to clean one. I think this is the fastest and easiest way. If you save the skin, scratch this method. Legally, you have to leave a wing on to transport your birds so they can identify what species it is. So between two fingers, I snap the wing bone and then I just pull that wing off. Now I've got an identifiable wing and one less wing. Then I take my thumb and I feel for the breast plate and I work my thumb up underneath that just enough to tear the skin away. Then I pull the skin and stick my thumb back in the V-notch of the breastplate and pull it all apart. Just like that, between five and eight seconds, you've got a perfectly cleaned bird, legal to transport, and ready to cook. One more quick look, full speed. Okay, this one took exactly six seconds. That should be about an average once you got it down. Everything was super hurried this year, so I apologize for the lack of film. But the next step is we're going to take and cut that breast right off the breast bone and put in a salty ice water brine to leach out nasty and remove the feathers. We cooked in waves of appetizers this year. This one is my favorite. You've seen it before. Black bean, corn, serrano, pepper jack cheese, and dove breast all rolled into a flour tortilla. This is the Dove Southwest egg roll, and it is by far my favorite way to eat doves. I'm just getting started on the dove treats. We also did the barbecue dove pizza with a serrano barbecue, red onion, cilantro. Mmm, fantastic. Andy's pizza. We got an Italian. For the ranch? Mmm. Good. We didn't stage that, I swear. Next, we were doing extreme dove nachos. Everything you could dream up in a nacho, we were getting done. A big cheese sauce, taco flavored dove breast, all diced up, guac, sour cream, cheese, peppers. Oh, man. What is next? We should have called this extreme heat cooking. It was fabulous and horrible all in the same breath. The last dish we did before the sun went down was a bow tie dove farfaval pesto meatball. That's just straight up hard to say. Essentially, it was a bow tie pasta, and we ground the dove breast with a little bit of turkey to hold it together, folded in some pesto. It got its own little delicate fork, and man, it was bang up. If you love pasta, there is no better way to do it. Yeah, we turn the heat off the bowl. Yeah, good, man. Good job. We took a quick break from the heat and then found our way out to the pool again after the sun went down. The forefathers of this hunt, my dad and Uncle Bud, and we started cooking again. We had a bunch of kebabs to make and some jalapeno poppers, affectionately known as the armadillo egg. And then we cored a few potatoes and put together a dove pepper mix inside them and then cooked them in that La Cucina roasting box and it was very very tasty inside but definitely not the thing to do in an extreme heat but to me that stuff is just crazy fun to try while the taters are going the kebabs were cooking we made a big bowl of dove chili with all the leftover doves it got everything from corn to serrano to peppers to you name it. It wound up in the bottom of that chili. And we just had us a big old feast with all that protein we had shot earlier in the day. It didn't take long for 200 birds to just disappear into our bellies. Here's what the potato looked like when it come out of there. It took a pretty long time for that thing to cook all the way down and be cooked through. If you did it at home, I would say it's totally worth it. But we put so much heat on this box and all the heat around us, man, it just was a hard thing to do. 
but it was delicious inside. Everything was cooked very well, great flavor. The potato added a bunch of texture, just a super fun way to cook some dove breast. And let's close in prayer. Lord, thank you for September 1st, the dove hunt. Thank you for all the camaraderie and memories that come with big group hunts. Thank you for the new strengths that come with dealing with extreme conditions. And we thank you for the know-how to convert these beautiful sky treats into hearty meals. And in your name we pray. Amen.